Hello guys, Life Through is Lens here. In my previous video, I shared with you my experience with pornography and how I clicked on those stupid ads that kept popping on my screen, right? Yes. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some measures to take in order to avoid being a slave to porn. And if you are already addicted to pornography, what I believe you should do in order to, you know, come out from such. Because trust me, being addicted to pornography is nothing, it's not a place that anybody should want to be because it's very very hard to jump out from it so first things first identify the problem and in this case the problem is pornography now the second step is to accept that you need help you know so many persons are actually into porn but they enjoy it i know that yes porn could be pleasurable like watching naked people and then the whole chemistry and everything happening in your body i want to experience it and all that but you actually have to accept that you need help you have to tell yourself that okay i know that this thing is wrong and in as much as i enjoy it i need help i need counsel now when you've accepted that you need help the third step is to put away all those erotic songs all those erotic movies erotic magazines anything that triggers your memory anything that reminds you of such acts you have to put them away and that is the third step prayer is not the third step because trust me if you're praying and you're still running back and you're seeing those nude the nude images of ladies and guys you're just whiling away your time and the prayer won't work so in as much as you've identified the problem you've accepted that you need help the third step is to do what put away all those stuff try as much as possible run to god in prayer go sincerely go with an open heart tell him abba i need your help this is your child marries i've come to you because i've identified my problem i've accepted that i need help i've put away these things that keep reminding me of this and now i've come to you father help me i know that in as much as i've put away these things the devil is not happy with me and he would want me to fall into that temptation again but that is why i am here abba help me i need your grace i need your mercy please help me and trust me because he's your father and he's your friend he will help you now there's one mistake that i believe that so many persons make what's that mistake you've identified your problem you've accepted you need help you've put away all this negative stuff that triggers you you've gone to god in prayer but then you forget to change your circle like this cannot be overemphasized see they said evil communication corrupts good manners that's what the bible lets us know that evil communication corrupts good manners you cannot be trying to turn a new leaf and you're hanging out to the old sets of people it's not all about prayer you can pray as much as you want to pray if your circle of friends remains the same your prayer was just useless and it will be totally unfruitful trust that god will bring new people to you no one puts new wine into old wine skin now, remember the story in the Bible that told us about a man who had a demon in him, right? And then that demon was casted out. But after a few days, that particular demon went and called his entire family and they came and dwelt in the man. They were able to do that because that man had not filled his heart with something else. He hadn't, you know, put in something that, you know, he kept himself idle. And that is the final step. See? You've identified the problem. You've accepted you need help. You've shown all those negative things that trigger you. You've gone to God in prayer. You've changed your circle. But then there's one very important thing missing. You've not filled your heart with something else. You need to fill it up. An idle man is the devil's workshop. You have to fill your heart with the word of God. What does God's word say concerning this thing? You have to consciously, intentionally focus on the word of god fill your heart with god's word continuously form that word bank in your heart the final step to jumping out from pornography is to fellowship with the brethren you have to consistently fellowship with god's people people who share similar values with you people who are ready to pull you up when you fall down people who are ready to be ringing in your ears you know people who come with god's word on a regular now let me say this if you are addicted to pornography it's not the end of the world so many persons have been addicted to something more terrible than this and they came out from it so what makes yours different your case is not different in any way because the bible tells us that we are surrounded by so many great cloud of witnesses people who have passed through these things like us all the saints that we celebrate today they were they were human beings like you and i but they are still saints the Bible still recognizes them. 
the church still recognizes them why because in as much as they were ordinary people they tried as much as possible to live extraordinary lives whenever they fell they stood up so don't think it's the end of the world don't see yourself as that terrible sinner that god would not pardon don't think you're going to hellfire because you're addicted to pornography no you just need help and when you get the right help when you follow these lay down steps i'm very sure you'd come out of it i'm rooting for you